Okay, so welcome to part two of creating a more modern looking WPF application using maapps.metro, which I defined as the bootstrap or one of the styling libraries that you can use for free, it's open source, uh, with WPF and make your app look pretty sharp without having to customize all of the things. They kind of do it for you. If you haven't watched the first video, I recommend doing so if you're following along, especially because we set up myapps.metro in our WPF app. So now we can reference the controls and the styling. And I also have a playlist of all of these videos if you're watching this in the future. And I also plan on having my GitHub commit per video down in the description. So if you want to see all of the code after each video, you can go down there and check that out. That was the best way I could think of doing it. Maybe after each video, I go ahead and commit all of my code and you can go check it out. And if you like this stuff, feel free to subscribe. I just show different things in programming that I'm curious about and I learn or I learn at work or whatever the case may be. And hopefully you guys benefit from me sharing as I learn. And then this video, we're going to talk about two things in our WPF app. We're going to talk about the title bar. So this part up here of our WPF app, and also how do we customize the border of this application? And in the last video I talked about, uh, I want this application to be like a task tracker or something like that, where we can say, okay, these are the goals I want to accomplish today. Uh, maybe I can set one at a further date, but actually, I changed my mind on what I want this app to be. I want it to be a budgeting app. So let's say I have so much money each month I can spend. Maybe I can categorize it. Like I have this much to spend in housing, this much to spend in food. And then I can also list out my expenses throughout the month. I think that would be fun. And I think that would be actually a useful application. Today, I just wanted to show um, the title bar, some things you can do with it, some things that we're not going to particularly do with this application, but just so you know, that it is possible. So I'm gonna start it just to show you what the default title bar looks like. Um, some things you'll notice is the accent color, which is this light blue. And if you remember from the last video, I have a pretty good feeling that that comes from the styles, themes, and this light blue .saml file. And hopefully in a couple videos or so, so we'll see how do we change the accent colors of this application, the default ones. So maybe we don't want light blue, maybe we want something else. But for now, we're gonna keep it that way. And you can also tell that the title of this application is in all caps. So let's talk about, maybe you don't want a title bar whatsoever. Maybe your application is very minimalist and you just want to uh, turn that off. So there's actually an attribute called show title bar and you can actually set that to false. We'll go ahead and save. And now you can see there's no title bar and we can still drag around the app as long as it's not we're not pressing on a control like this combo box. But if we press down over here on our mouse and we move it around, uh, that allows us. But in my case, I want a title bar. So I'm going to get rid of that attribute or you can just set it to true. And something I'm gonna do is change the title and I want this app to be called My Budget. And I want the casing of this title to actually be just as it appears here. Because if we look, I should save it. You can see it's back to all caps as we would expect. So we can add another attribute called title character casing. And here are the different options. We can make it all lowercase normal casing, which is however it's written out here or upper, which is what it is now. So I'm going to set it to normal. And now we have it where it is the same exact casing as what it's written out. And then one last thing I wanted to show you, let's say you don't want the title to be the same color as the default accent color of the theme. So for instance, maybe you want it to be red. You can add an attribute called window title brush and pick a color of your choice. And I'm just going to pick red, I'll save. And now you can see that the color of the title bar is obviously red. But in my case, I'm just going to leave it as the light blue. And one last thing I want to do is I want to add an icon to the top left of this title bar. And what I did is I just Googled icons, free icons, I think was my search. And this website came up icon-icons.com and I looked for money and I went ahead and downloaded the ICO extension of this particular image and I brought it into our application. So in the Solution Explorer, here it is. One thing I wanna do, and you can't do it unless you stop, is I want to rename it. I'm just gonna name it Cache. 
And you can also use PNGs if you want it to a transparent PNG instead of an ICO file, uh, it will accept that. And then I'm going to add a folder to our project and I'm just gonna call it images because we might have more images in the future and then drag it into that images directory. We'll hit okay. And then lastly, this is not going to copy over when we build our app by default. So I'm going to change the build action to content, I think. I think this is what I did before. And then also uh, copy always. And then now I'm gonna add an attribute to our window called icon, well, if I can spell icon. And here we could say slash images slash cache dot ICO. And I'll save it, hit start, we'll let it compile. And one thing you'll notice beside it just being in the top left, like it is here, it also brings the icon down here in our taskbar, which is kind of nice. So it doesn't have that bland default icon anymore. It has this nice icon that we also use in our app. Okay, now let's talk about the border. Uh, one thing I like desktop applications to have is that little grip thing in the bottom right. You might have seen it before. Uh, if not, we'll see it here shortly, but I'm going to add an attribute to the Metro window again called resize mode and the value is going to be can resize with grip and if we start it now and you can see right here there is this little grip thing in the bottom right and that allows us to resize the application and it provides a nice little part of the app that you can just click and be able to resize it how you would like okay and now let's add a border so the attribute for the border is border brush and here we can provide a color, but what I want to provide is the dynamic resource of the accent color of this app, which is that light blue. And you can think of a dynamic resource as a predefined value. And we get those predefined values from those dictionaries uh, in the app.xaml, not app.config. And these dictionaries right here with the light blue.xaml. And the key that we want to get the value for is ma apps, and it's capital M ma apps dot brushes dot accents. And then beside just the color, I also want to give it a border thickness of like three. So let's see how that looks. And we can start to see it here in the preview. And now we have this nice little border around our application with the same color as the accent of the app. And then lastly, I wanted to show not only the border brush, but the glow brush, which adds a little bit of, uh, you can't see it, let's restart the app. It adds a little bit of like a glowing style and maybe, maybe this isn't thick enough. And I know it's gonna be hard to see on video. You're just going to have to trust me and try this out on your own. But let me maybe also up the thickness to five. But hopefully you can see it. There's like this faint little light blue outside of the border of our application. And that's this nice little glow that it provides. And it uses the same color as the accent because we're using this dynamic resource. All right, so now we have the title bar situated up here with the image and the title. And we showed how you can change the color independently or make it disappear altogether. And we also added a nice little border. I'm going to change the glow brush back to border brush. And that's all we're going to do in this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you learned something and I hope to see you in the next one.